like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it picks spreads his wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars subscribe to our youtube channel and you can like and share it's an uncomfortable truth but let me tell you this the variables in marriage are too many to learn about marriage through opinions the variables every married man will agree that every home is unique and there is no general template based on personal experience and so we must be able to minimize experiences and focus on the word of god are we together now yes and let me tell you this and i want to submit to you truly it is not always true that experience teaches about marriage it is not always true experience is an added advantage the major mentors in the issue of marriage in the bible were not married themselves god jesus paul and yet they were the authorities that taught about marriage this is a thing of the spirit are we together i've always said a man can dwell with his wife for 30 years hurting and destroying this dear woman's life but just because she vowed that she will not divorce after 30 years they can use the template of their experience to teach that this is how to remain in marriage is wrong because the woman may have been quietly enduring pain for 30 years. The word of God is living and abiding forever. You will never go wrong with this book. Believe me when I tell you this. You will never go wrong with this book. Are we together? It's very important. Because I'm saying this because there are many young people unmarried who think that there's nothing to learn let me just marry and then i will start learning pragmatically no no the preparation for marriage is before there are foundational truths you should know before you will continue learning even when you are married are we together but there are truths that are foundational on bending and it's important for you to know can i just touch on two or three information number one but discussing family look up please there is nowhere in the bible where god tells a woman to love a man in your bible god does not instruct women to love men Bible tells women wives to respect their husbands because psychologically speaking love does not mean anything to a man but when you honor and respect that man that is his idea of love are we together now all men without reservation please listen to me no matter how emotionally appealing a woman is towards a man if genuine respect and honor is not there there is a violation of a foundational ordinance it's a matter of time there will be a repercussion the bible jesus himself spoke a bit about marriage and then in ephesians chapter 5 when you read the bible says wives submit wives respect respect now let me tell you this please look up it is true that honor should be for all men but there's all kinds of nonsense flowing around society that the concept of equality is being one with christ but organically speaking listen ladies please hear me organically speaking the head 
of every woman is her husband he is not the head only when he brings food he is the head as this god knows what he built and when he gives you a pattern maintain it are we are we together now the bible clearly tells us wives your interpretation of love to a husband is submission and respect that means i hope you know the bible says he that finds a wife finds a good thing it didn't say he that finds a woman and makes her a wife that means she must be a wife to be found a wife does not happen when you are married a wife is a mental position are we together now it's, it, this is a very powerful revelation the bible your bible look up please ladies it means that every woman who wants to be successful in her home and every woman who wants to be successful even in a relationship must before a man comes to your life the assignment you should be involved with is learning